Noah, a man of keen countenance and an easy smile, seemed to dance through life without the weight of responsibilities. His eyes, deep and inquisitive, always sought a new prey to satisfy his thirst for comfort and luxury. Accustomed to living in the shadow of affluent women, he spared no effort to seduce and manipulate, weaving webs of charm and false promises. It was then that his eyes landed on Jane, whose recent inheritance from her father had thrust her into the spotlight in social circles. With her golden hair gleaming in the sunlight and eyes as clear as the purest waters, Jane was like a perfect prey in a hunting game. Noah, with his ability to decipher the desires of others, didn't hesitate to invest all his charms in winning over the young heiress. Jane, my dear, how enchanting you look today, murmured Noah, smoothly sliding beside her at a lavish party. His smile was as seductive as the siren's song, enveloping Jane in a veil of promises and possibilities. Thank you, Noah, replied Jane, a delicate blush coloring her cheeks. She could hardly believe her luck in capturing the attention of someone as charming and sophisticated as Noah. And so the game began, with Noah weaving a web of enchantment around Jane, while she, innocent and trusting, allowed herself to be entangled by his sweet words and gentle gestures. The fortune she had inherited became the target of his ambitious plans, while he, with his cunning as sharp as a blade, plotted the paths to conquer not only her wealth, but also her heart. Jane, a young woman of pure and dreamy heart, found herself at an emotional crossroads where the winds of indecision blew strong. Her gaze wandered to the horizon, reflecting the internal storms that raged within her soul. Christian, the childhood friend, represented the security and familiarity of a shared past. His gentle gestures and comforting words echoed in her mind like a beacon in the darkness of uncertainty. However, Noah, with his magnetic aura and captivating smile, stirred unknown emotions in Jane. Every encounter with him was like a dance between reason and passion, where uncertain steps led her down unexplored paths. Noah's soft words echoed in her ears, promises of a bright future filled with happiness. Jane, dear, you know I'll always be here for you. Never hesitate to reach out to me if you need support or a friendly shoulder, Christian declared with a loving look, conveying security and trust. Jane, you are the light that brightens my dark days. I will do everything to make you happy, to protect you from all harm, whispered Noah, holding her hands tenderly, his eyes shining with a promise of eternal love. Between Christian's promises of loyalty and Noah's passionate vows, Jane felt like a sailor lost in a sea of turbulent emotions. Each beat of her heart seemed to echo the conflict raging within her between following the safe path alongside Christian or surrendering to the storm of emotions that Noah aroused. This crucial moment in Jane's life would mark the beginning of a journey filled with challenges where every choice would shape her destiny and the destiny of those around her. Christian, a man whose kindness overflowed from every gesture and word, represented an anchor of stability amidst the turbulent sea of Jane's emotions. His eyes conveyed calmness and serenity reflecting the honesty and integrity that guided him in his life's path. On the other hand, it was Noah who, with his sharp insight and captivating charm, managed to entangle Jane in a web of seduction and enchantment. Each word of his was like a hypnotic melody, skillfully touching the deepest strings of her heart. Jane, my dear, you deserve someone who truly makes you happy, someone like me who loves you unconditionally, Noah said with a gentle smile his eyes brimming with understanding and affection. Noah, you're like a ray of sunshine in the darkness. Your cunning and charm captivate me in a way I never imagined possible, confessed Jane, her lips curving into a radiant smile, her eyes shining with burning passion. Jane found herself increasingly ensnared in Noah's warm embrace, whose magnetism was irresistible. Christian then decided to move on with his life, maintaining his dignity and integrity intact. Jane, enveloped by Noah's seductive aura, found herself lost in a whirlwind of emotions that obscured her vision to his true intentions. Her heart beat to the rhythm of the sweet promises and charming smiles Noah offered her while she drowned in the illusion of a perfect love. 
Jane, my love, you are the light that brightens my dark days. I will do everything in my power to make you happy, to protect you from all harm, declared Noah, his eyes shining with an intensity that mesmerized Jane. Blinded by passion and hope, Jane dove headfirst into the promise of a future with Noah, unaware of the shadows looming around her. The naivety of her heart prevented her from seeing beyond appearances, while Noah skillfully wove a web of lies and manipulations to achieve his selfish objectives of exploiting the fortune Jane had inherited. Meanwhile, the truth lurked in the shadows, patiently waiting for the right moment to reveal itself and unmask Noah's true colors before Jane's eyes. Noah, a master of manipulation, plotted his dark schemes in the shadows, taking advantage of Jane's naive love to achieve his debasing goals. Every gesture, every word was carefully calculated to weave a web of illusions around her, obscuring her vision and imprisoning her in his venomous claws. Jane, my dear, you are the center of my universe, murmured Noah, his lips curved in a charming smile, his eyes shining with a malevolent gleam that went unnoticed by Jane. As Jane surrendered body and soul to the love she felt for Noah, he wove his cunning machinations behind the scenes, planning each step with surgical precision to ensure his control over her fortune. His heart cold as marble, hid an insatiable greed that yearned for enrichment at the expense of Jane's naivety. While the veil of illusions Noah had woven around Jane remained intact, the shadows of his true character lurked in the depths, patiently waiting for the opportune moment to reveal themselves and expose the cruel truth behind the mask of kindness he used to deceive her. Jane, enveloped in the fog of mourning that hung over her soul, found comfort in the seemingly welcoming arms of Noah. His presence was like an anchor amidst the emotional storm raging within Jane, and his soothing words calmed the tempests roaring inside her. Darling Jane, I am here for you every step of the way. Your suffering is mine too, and I will do everything in my power to help you through this difficult time, whispered Noah his eyes filled with feigned compassion that Jane gladly accepted in her pain. Blinded by the pain of loss and the promise of solace Noah offered her, Jane trusted him as a safe refuge amidst the storm that ravaged her life. His comforting smiles and warm embraces seemed to be the light at the end of the tunnel of darkness enveloping her existence, leading her to place her trust in him as a lifeline in a tumultuous sea. Noah, skillfully hiding his true intentions behind a mask of kindness and consideration, led Jane to the altar with promises of eternal love and commitment. Every gesture, every word, was meticulously calculated to gain her trust and solidify his control over her fortune. Jane, my beloved, I am so happy we can share this moment together. You are the light of my life and I can't wait to build a bright future by your side, Noah professed his eyes shining with false devotion as he sealed their fate with a commitment kiss. His cunning and calculating mind knew no bounds when it came to achieving his selfish goals, and he was determined to secure his position as the absolute master of Jane's estate. The day of Jane and Noah's wedding was marked by an atmosphere of celebration and joy, but behind the scenes, a shadow of distrust hung over the event. While guests toasted to the couple's newfound love, Jane's godfather, Mr. Charles, watched Noah closely with sharp eyes, aware of the true intentions hidden behind his charming smile. Jane, my dear, I'm so thrilled that we're together in this moment. You're the reason for my smile, and I'll do everything to ensure your happiness, declared Noah, his words laden with false sweetness as he enveloped Jane in his arms. However, as vows of love and commitment were exchanged at the altar, Mr. Charles acted behind the scenes to protect Jane's estate from Noah's greedy clutches. With a serious and determined expression, he approached Jane, bringing with him a prenuptial agreement he had drafted himself aiming to safeguard his goddaughter's financial interests. Jane, my dear, I know your love is genuine, but it is my duty to ensure your assets are properly protected. Please consider this prenuptial agreement as a precautionary measure, insisted Mr. Charles, his voice filled with concern as he extended the document for Jane to sign. Jane found herself contemplating the godfather's proposal, 
while Noah watched her with a glint of disdain in his eyes, aware that his influence over her was enough to overcome any obstacle that stood in his way to the fortune. The prenuptial agreement, meticulously crafted by Mr. Charles to protect Jane's interests, cast a shadow of surprise and frustration over Noah. As he flipped through the pages of the document, his eyebrows arched in a gesture of disbelief while the cold, harsh reality of what lay before him began to sink in. Jane, my love, don't you think this is going too far? Don't you trust me enough to know that I would never do anything to harm you? Questioned Noah, his voice tinged with a tone of feigned indignation, his eyes flashing with irritation. However, Jane had already made her decision. She wanted to protect her family inheritance. With a determined expression, she signed the prenuptial agreement, sealing her fate and severely limiting Noah's rights to her fortune. While Noah swallowed the bitter pill of defeat, he knew that the battle for Jane's wealth was far from over. His cunning mind was already scheming plans to circumvent the restrictions imposed by the prenuptial agreement, determined to secure his slice of the pie, whatever the cost. Despite the frustration Noah felt at the restrictions imposed by the prenuptial agreement, he swallowed his pride and accepted the conditions, knowing that his cunning and charm would be his most powerful weapons in the battle for Jane's fortune. With a fake smile on his lips and a glint of challenge in his eyes, he cast a piercing gaze at Jane, trying to convey a false sense of compliance. Jane, my dear, I understand that you want to protect yourself, but know that nothing will change between us. My love for you is unwavering, and nothing can separate us, murmured Noah, who remained confident in his ability to manipulate Jane and break down the barriers standing between him and the wealth he coveted. Jane, eager to build a family with Noah, dives headfirst into the journey of motherhood. However, despite her tireless efforts and fervent prayers, cruel fate denies her the longed-for gift. Her dreams are shattered as each pregnancy test comes back negative like a sharp knife cutting through her hopes into pieces. Don't worry, Jane, our time will come. In the meantime, we'll be together, facing the challenges life throws at us. Noah tries to comfort her, his eyes attempting to conceal the frustration he also feels. However, fate had even darker plans in store for Jane. Medical exams reveal a ticking time bomb within her, a silent but relentless cancer that threatens to consume her life and her dreams. The news is a devastating blow to Jane, who finds herself thrown into a whirlwind of fear and uncertainty, her tears mingling with the painful echo of the doctor's words. Jane, I'm here for you. We'll face this together, no matter what. Noah promises, his eyes brimming with fierce determination as he firmly holds Jane's trembling hand. Thus, the veil of innocence covering Jane's life is torn away at once revealing the cruel realities that await her on the horizon. As she battles the cancer threatening to consume her, a new struggle begins to unfold in her mind, the battle for her own survival. Jane faces the toughest battle of her life against cancer. Noah remains by her side, still maintaining the facade of a dedicated and loving husband. His caring gestures and comforting words are like a mask hiding the true intentions simmering within him. Jane, you are my strength and my inspiration. I'll be by your side every step of this difficult journey, murmurs Noah. His lips curved in a gentle smile as he tenderly holds Jane's fragile hand. However, behind this facade of concern and support, Noah's thoughts turn to the uncertain future that awaits him after Jane's death. As she fights for her life, he meticulously plans how to benefit from the fortune that will be his after her departure, his eyes gleaming with a greed disguised beneath the mask of compassion. While Jane plunges into the depths of pain and suffering, she remains blind to the true intentions hidden behind Noah's veil of concern. But fate holds unexpected surprises and the shadows lurking in the recesses of her mind begin to creep in, warning her of the dangers that lie ahead. As the days pass and Jane's health deteriorates under the overwhelming weight of cancer, Noah can barely contain his eagerness for the inheritance he eagerly awaits. 
His facade of concern is now just a fragile mask, barely concealing his voracious greed, his eyes burning with the promise of future riches. Jane, my love, you need to rest. I'll be here taking care of you, as always, murmurs Noah, his words ringing hollow and empty to Jane's ears as she struggles against the searing pain consuming her. While Noah leans over her, his hands touching her cold skin with simulated tenderness, his thoughts are far away, already sailing on oceans of gold and silver awaiting him after Jane's departure. His affection for her now is just a pale shadow of what it once was, eclipsed by the dazzling glow of the wealth that awaits him. With the passage of time, as Jane sinks deeper into the relentless darkness of illness, Noah, like an opportunistic predator, seeks comfort in the arms of another woman. His heart, now cold and insensitive, succumbs to the temptations of betrayal as he indulges in the charms of a woman named Sarah. Sarah, my dear, you are like a ray of sunshine in the darkness. With you, I find the solace I've been searching for, whispers Noah his words laden with fierce desire as he surrenders to the warmth of her embrace. While Noah sinks into the murky waters of infidelity, Jane remains oblivious to the betrayal unfolding under her own roof, her mind consumed by the epic battle she wages against cancer. As Sarah and Noah indulge in the fervor of forbidden passion, fate prepares to deal its cards on the board setting the stage for a twist that will change the course of history forever. Jane slowly begins to question Noah's true intentions as she starts to suspect a betrayal he may be weaving behind her back. Her eyes, once blinded by the illusion of love, now begin to open to the grim reality that may lurk behind her husband's mask. Noah, you've been different lately. There's something not right. Please tell me what's going on, Jane pleads, her tone laden with pain and uncertainty. However, Noah's answers are evasive, his eyes averting Jane's penetrating gaze. He tries to maintain his facade of innocence, but the cracks in his mask begin to widen, exposing the cruel truth he had fought so hard to hide. One day, consumed by growing curiosity, Jane seeks answers about Christian's whereabouts, turning to Charles for clarification. With a serious and thoughtful expression, Charles reveals the guarded secrets about Jane's old friend. Charles, have you heard anything about how Christian is doing? I remembered him and wished to know how he is. Jane asks, her eyes shining with a mixture of nostalgia and concern. With a heavy sigh, Charles lifts the veil of the past, revealing details of Christian's life since they parted ways. His voice echoes through the room as he describes Christian's failed marriage and the struggle for survival he faces after the divorce. Jane, Christian married and had a son named Robert. However, things didn't go as expected, and they've been going through hardships since the divorce, Charles explains, his gaze filled with compassion in the face of the trials plaguing his uh, old friend. Jane, determined to protect her legacy and ensure that justice prevails, drafts a meticulous will that excludes Noah from any part of her inheritance. Her fingers trace the words with a firmness that reflects her resolve to teach him a lesson he will never forget. This is my final wish, Charles. Please ensure that this will is carried out according to my wishes, instructs Jane, her voice firm and resolute, as she entrusts Charles with the document that will seal the fate of her fortune. As Jane puts the finishing touches on her will, a sense of peace and justice envelops her. Knowing that she is taking the necessary steps to protect her legacy and punish Noah's unchecked greed, her meticulous plan is a final statement of her strength and determination to face the challenges life has presented her. In the carefully drafted will by Jane, she makes a decision that reflects her generosity and desire to help those she loves. Her eyes, determined and filled with compassion, trace the lines that will change the fate of her fortune. If the inheritance isn't going to Noah, then who do you wish to leave it to? Charles asked. To Christian, my longtime friend. This is my way of helping him in difficult times. I hope this fortune can provide him with the relief he so desperately needs, murmurs Jane, her voice filled with emotion as she shares her decision with Charles. 
For Jane, the act of leaving her fortune to Christian is more than just a gesture of charity. It's an expression of gratitude and affection for a friend who has always been there for her through thick and thin. Her heart fills with joy at the thought of the relief the money will bring to Christian's life, providing him with a fresh start. In the past, when Jane made the choice that would change the course of her life, Christian was facing his own journey of challenges and disillusionments. While Jane surrendered to Noah's love, Christian crossed paths with a woman named Sally whose encounter would trigger a series of events that would forever change the course of his life. Sally, I love you so much. I thank God for you coming into my life, murmurs Christian, his eyes reflecting the hope and optimism of a promising future. However, as the years passed and life's challenges intensified, Christian and Sally's marriage began to crumble under the weight of difficulties. The promises of love and happiness that once united their hearts now faded in the face of the icy winds of adversity, leaving behind a trail of disillusionment and pain. Sally, please don't give up on us. We can overcome this together, pleads Christian, his voice echoing in the empty room as he faces the specter of imminent separation. However, Christian's words fall on deaf ears, and Sally makes the difficult decision to file for divorce. The division of assets leaves Christian in dire financial straits, as he struggled to find employment and what little he had was taken by Sally. With the vision of the future in mind and her heart filled with concern, Jane entrusts Charles with a responsibility that transcends earthly bounds. Her eyes, brimming with determination and affection, reflect the importance of the mission she is about to entrust to him. Charles, please promise me that you will take care of Christian and his son Robert when I'm no longer here. They need your guidance and support to build a better future, Jane implores her words laden with a sincere desire to ensure the well-being of those she loves. For Jane, Charles's promise is more than a mere formality. It's a sacred pact that will seal the fate of her loved ones and ensure that the legacy of her kindness and generosity continues to shine even after her departure. With Jane's death, a veil of shadows descends over Noah's life on the day of the will reading, revealing the bitter consequences of his selfish actions. His face, a mask of shock and disbelief, reflects the pain of a truth finally revealed before his disbelieving eyes. Sarah, how could this be possible? I can't believe it, exclaims Noah, his voice laden with despair and disbelief as he stares at his lover with wild eyes. Sarah, realizing that Noah would not receive the inheritance, ends the relationship with him, making it clear that she was only interested in the money he had promised. As Noah faces public humiliation and the agony of seeing his plan shattered before everyone, a storm of emotions churns in his heart, leaving him adrift in a sea of anger and disbelief. Stripped of his illusion of wealth and status, Noah finds himself plunged into an abyss of despair and rage, his mind seething with a burning desire for revenge against those who betrayed him. His clenched fists and his eyes sparkling with fury bear witness to his determination to make Jane pay for what he considers an unforgivable betrayal. Jane, you will regret challenging me. I will make sure that every moment of pain I suffered is repaid twofold, murmurs Noah his voice a cold, threatening whisper echoing through the empty walls of his disturbed mind. Every thought of Noah is consumed by the flame of vengeance, his mind boiling with meticulous plans to destroy Jane's legacy and reduce her name to ashes. As he sinks deeper into the darkness of his own demons, a new dark chapter unfolds in the tumultuous saga of Jane, Noah, and the fate that awaits them. Noah's sinister thoughts weave a web of intrigue and danger, his dark plan unfolding before his eyes like a macabre masterpiece. His lips curl into a malicious smile as he outlines the contours of his cruel revenge. Christian, prepare yourself to pay the price for crossing my path, murmurs Noah, his voice dripping with venom as he envisions the torment awaiting his eternal rival. Noah's nefarious plan hangs like a shadow over Robert's life, his innocence destined to be tainted by the malice of a desperate man. Every move is calculated with cruel precision, every detail meticulously planned to ensure the success of his wicked endeavor. The days pass as Noah delves into the dark work of planning Robert's kidnapping, 
Every moment is consumed by Noah's obsession, his eyes burning with the determination of a predator stalking its prey. He watches every move of Robert and his nanny, studying their routines like a general planning a battle. Soon, Robert, you will be my ticket to revenge, whispers Noah to himself, his words echoing in the emptiness of his tormented mind. The forest park becomes the dark stage where Robert's fate will be sealed, the green of the trees serving as the perfect backdrop for Noah's nefarious plans. Every detail is meticulously planned, every piece of the puzzle fitting into place as Noah waits for the right moment to act. At the crucial moment when Noah lunges towards his goal, the vigilant eyes of the forest ranger, Mr. Mark, detect his sinister presence. His sense of duty is like a bright light cutting through the darkness, his unwavering determination to protect those under his care. <clears throat> hey, what are you doing here? This doesn't seem right. Mr. Mark interjects, his voice resonating with authority as he confronts Noah in his desperate attempt to execute his nefarious plan. Noah's determination does not waver, his mind turbulent with the urgency of his evil purpose. He turns to face Mr. Mark, his eyes sparking with the fury of a cornered animal, but the imposing presence of the forest ranger is an insurmountable barrier against his wicked intents. With a skill and vigilance worthy of a hero, Mr. Mark anticipates the imminent attack, acting with surprising quickness to prevent Noah's dark plan from coming to fruition. His sharp eyes catch the impending danger, and his determined steps lead him to intervene at the crucial moment. Not this time, exclaims Mr. Mark, his voice echoing through the tranquility of the park, imbued with the authority of someone determined to protect the innocent. However, Noah is not willing to give up his prey so easily. His wild eyes gleam with the dark determination of a relentless predator, but the firm and unwavering presence of Mr. Mark is like an impenetrable wall that prevents him from advancing. Robert's safety is ensured under the vigilant guard of the forest ranger, his destiny diverted from an imminent tragedy. With the foiled kidnapping attempt and Noah's capture, a collective sigh of relief spreads through the family, dissipating the fog of fear that had settled over them. Their hearts, once burdened by the fear of the unknown, now swell with gratitude and hope for a future free from imminent dangers. Uh, thank God the worst was avoided, murmurs Christian, his words filled with emotion as he embraces his son with renewed tenderness, knowing that he is safe. For Christian and Mr. Charles, Noah's arrest represents more than just the end of a threat. It's a new beginning, a rebirth of the peace and security they longed for. Their smiles, now free from the shadow of worry, shine with the promise of better days ahead. As the family gathers in a hug of relief and gratitude, the rising sun bathes the scene in golden light, symbolizing the rebirth of hope and victory over the darkness that had haunted them for so long. With a heart overflowing with gratitude, Christian approaches Mr. Mark with an expression of sincere respect and admiration. His eyes meet those of the forest ranger, brimming with emotion and recognition for the bravery shown. Mr. Mark, I don't know how to thank you for what you've done for us. Your courage saved my son's life and brought peace to our family, says Christian, his words filled with genuine gratitude. Mr. Mark receives Christian's words with humility and modesty, his face marked by years of hard service, lighting up with a warm smile. I was just doing my job, sir. Protecting those in danger is my duty, replies Mr. Mark, his voice resonating with the firmness of someone committed to the well-being of others. The moment of gratitude and recognition is like a ray of light that illuminates the darkness, strengthening the bonds of friendship and camaraderie between Christian and Mr. Mark. Together, they share a bond of trust and mutual support, united by the shared experience of facing danger and emerging victorious. As Noah faces the cold loneliness of prison walls, isolated from the outside world by the weight of his choices, Christian and Mr. Charles take on the responsibility of guiding Robert through the complexities of life.
Amidst the shadows of justice being served, a ray of hope shines upon young Robert. Enveloped in the warm embrace of a family that welcomes him with unconditional love, Robert, you're like a son to me. I'll do everything in my power to ensure you grow up happy and safe. Charles promises, his voice filled with determination and affection as he looks at the boy tenderly. As Noah faces the consequences of his actions, Christian and Mr. Charles dedicate themselves to the role of mentors and guardians to Robert, tirelessly working to build a bright future filled with opportunities for the young boy. The harmony of their family is a source of comfort and inspiration, a living testament to the transformative power of love and dedication. The dark trajectory of Noah, from his rise to his downfall, echoes like a somber echo through the corridors of time. A vivid testament to the dangers inherent in greed and thirst for revenge. Greed only leads us to ruin. It's a dangerous path that leads to nothing but destruction, Mr. Charles thought, laden with wisdom as he reflected on Noah and the choices that led to his downfall. Noah's story serves as a grim reminder that the choices we make can shape our destiny in unpredictable ways, and that the thirst for revenge often only brings more pain and suffering. It's a warning to all about the dangers of succumbing to the darkest impulses of our human nature. Under the watchful eyes of Christian, Robert flourishes in an environment of love and care, learning about honesty, kindness, and sincerity so that he would become a good and upright man in the future. I promise you, Jane, that I will do everything to ensure Robert grows up to be a humble and respectful person, just like you, murmurs Christian. His words filled with determination and reverence as he bows before Jane's grave. Christian's solemn commitment is a guiding thread that informs every interaction and decision regarding Robert. His burning desire to honor Jane's memory shaping every moment shared with the young boy. For Christian, the promise made at Jane's grave is more than just an oath. It's a sacred bond that ties him to the woman he once loved and the son he was raising. It's a promise he will do everything to fulfill, even in the face of challenges and adversities that await. Jane's legacy is woven into the tapestry of Robert's life, each thread carrying the values and teachings she so skillfully imparted. For Christian, the fact that Jane hadn't forgotten him and even helped him in a difficult moment of his life served as inspiration for him to become an even more generous and kind-hearted person. Jane was a remarkable woman, Robert. Her legacy lives on in us now, in every choice we make and in every step we take, murmurs Christian, his solemn tone echoing the reverence he feels for Jane. Christian's words resonate in Robert's mind, echoing like a mantra that guides him through life's challenges and tribulations. He knows that as long as he carries with him the teachings and values taught by Christian while inspired by Jane, he will never be alone for her legacy will always be a source of inspiration and strength. For Robert, Jane's legacy is more than just a remembrance of the past. It's a beacon of hope that illuminates the path ahead, guiding him with wisdom and courage as he faces the challenges that lie ahead. In the small community where Robert grows up, Mr. Mark is revered as a true hero his name echoing in whispered conversations and warm praises. His humility and dedication to Robert's safety on that fateful day are celebrated as a living testament to the kindness and courage that dwells in the hearts of men. Mr. Mark, you are a true example of bravery and compassion. Your swift action saved Robert's life and brought peace to our community, expresses Christian. His voice resonating with sincere gratitude as he reaches out in appreciation. Mr. Mark accepts the praise with modesty, his calm and serene expression reflecting the deep humility that characterizes him. For him, the community's acknowledgement is a tribute not only to his own bravery, but also to the spirit of unity and solidarity that permeates every facet of life in the small town. 
As the days pass and life goes on, Mr. Mark remains a beacon of hope and inspiration, a symbol of all that is good and noble in human nature. His presence is a source of comfort and security for all who are fortunate enough to know him, a constant reminder of the transformative power of love and kindness. While the cold bars of the cell embraced him, Noah found himself engulfed in a storm of remorse and regret. Amidst the claustrophobic darkness, he reflected on his actions, each painful memory echoing like a dark echo in his tormented mind. If only I could go back and make things right. If only I could redeem myself for what I did to Lucy, whispers Noah to himself, his voice a hoarse whisper in the stillness of the night. His thoughts are filled with regrets each remorse a sharp knife piercing his tormented soul. He blames himself for what he planned to do to Lucy, bitterly lamenting that it is too late to ask for forgiveness. As the hours drag on slowly, Noah finds himself lost in a sea of remorse and self-criticism, each heartbeat a painful reminder of the price of his choices. And in the suffocating silence of his cell, he clings desperately to the hope that perhaps it just perhaps there is still a chance for redemption. The intertwined saga of Jane, Noah, and Robert emerges as an intricate tapestry of emotions and events, woven with threads of love, loss, betrayal, and the relentless pursuit of justice. Each twist and turn shapes the narrative, turning it into a deeply human story of hope, despair, and redemption. Our story is like a roller coaster, full of ups and downs, unexpected turns, and steep drops, murmurs Christian with a mixture of sadness and determination in his voice as he contemplates the winding path he, Robert, and Mr. Charles have traversed together. Broken hearts and emotional scars are silent witnesses to the tumultuous journey they have faced, each challenge a testament to their inner strength and resilience. And in the end, it is the relentless pursuit of justice that guides them forward, a bright light that shines even on the darkest of nights. As destiny continues to weave its intricate pattern, Christian, Robert, and Mr. Charles remain united by the indestructible bond of love and family. Their story, an eternal witness to human courage and determination. And as they move towards the unknown, they know that together, they can face whatever challenges fate has in store for them. Jane's influence transcends beyond life itself, as if her choices and determination were etched in the stars, protecting not only her legacy but also those she loved. Her powerful will stands as a shield against greed and betrayal, ensuring that her wishes are respected even after her departure. Jane was always an extraordinary woman. Her kindness and wisdom were unparalleled, murmurs Mr. Charles with reverence, his words laden with admiration as he reflects on her lasting legacy. For those who witnessed Jane's battle against the forces of malice and greed, her posthumous triumph is a powerful testament to her strength and resilience. And as the wind whispers through the branches of the trees, it is as if nature itself bows in homage to Jane's courage and determination, her spirit immortalized in the story she left behind. The conclusion of this epic narrative serves as a beacon, illuminating the path to a deeper understanding of the fundamental values that underpin society. It's a vivid lesson on the essence of family bonds, unwavering integrity, and the transformative impact each individual can have on future generations. Our legacy is not just what we leave behind, but how we live and what we teach those who come after us, declares Christian, his voice resonating with wisdom and determination as he shares his reflections on the meaning of their story. These words echo through time, penetrating the hearts and minds of those who seek to understand the true meaning of life and human relationships. And as the sun sets on the horizon, it's as if a new dawn is born, illuminating the path to a future where essential values are celebrated and honored. As curtains close on the story of Jane, Noah, Christian, and Robert, it's impossible not to reflect on the importance of family values, integrity, 
and the ability to positively influence future generations. If you've been inspired by this journey of self-discovery and transformation, imagine delving even deeper into this universe of daily reflection. Introducing the ebook Seven Weeks of Inspiration, a collection of 49 stories, one for each day, designed to take you on a journey of self-discovery and personal growth over seven weeks. Each story is accompanied by a reflection, a prayer, and a concrete action for your day, allowing you to integrate these teachings into your daily life. Additionally, Upon purchasing the ebook, you'll also receive the narrated version of the book and three exclusive bonuses. Don't miss this opportunity to transform your life in a meaningful way. Click the link below and start your journey of inspiration today.